Good morning, traders. Happy hump day. Hope you guys are doing well. Two trades today, uh, a few trades on these tickers. Uh, HLIT, this is the first one I took. Uh, ended up being a nice trade here. I think that refresh break I had, you know, over the last week or so has really got me more just objective minded. You know, since I've been doing this for a while, I think it's easy to let my ego get in the way and just say things like, I've been doing this a while. I know what I'm doing. You know, if a trade's going against me, uh, stay convicted, Kevin. You know what you're doing. The thing is, you, you can't let your ego get in the way. You have to always remain docile and say, you know what, this market's going to do whatever it wants to do with or without my experience. I have to remain objective. You guys have to remain objective and just trade what is rather than trade your belief or your conviction. You got to say, you know what, this market can do whatever it wants. Have a game plan. Be prepared for it. Don't let my ego get in the way. Yeah, I've been trading a long time. Yeah, others have been trading longer than me. Yeah, some people have been trading shorter than me and are doing a lot better. Yeah, those that have been trading longer than me are, are doing worse. The market's going to do what it's going to do despite my experience, despite my conviction, despite what I know how to trade. So here's the deal. I'll get into the live trades. I just want to show you guys the charts first of all. HLIT, I started with a long position. Obviously, I wish I would have just you know, built that long on dips. What I did was I went long and then I you know took that position off and then I started a short position uh, and took that on this dip uh, and then shorted it again here and took that on the dip. Uh, this would have been more profitable if I had just bought the stock on dips as it was, you know, continuing to climb. But previously on some of these stocks, I've held them way too long, just trying to predict a big picture. And prediction is a horrible place to be. We just got to react to what is. So every time this thing pulled back, I took some off the table. And obviously, I'm, I'm really happy I did that versus just thinking, okay, let's turn this into a grand slam. You know, so I got to stop thinking grand slam and just start thinking, you know, little base hits on each trade. Because today, I, you know, ended up with the 50 bucks that I've been going for each and every day with just a few base hits, with just a few base hits, MDR as well, a couple shorts here, and then covered on the pullback, just base hits, you know, not going for a home run, not thinking, okay, let me just short, 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 up into eternity. No, if it's getting really overextended on intraday and on the daily chart, which is what I've been trading, overextension to resistance, uh, then just take some, you know, short positions on it and, and then cover into dips, you know, like I did. So I'm really happy with today. Let's get into the live trades. Hope you guys enjoy. Going to enter a long position here at 695, just 200 shares. Uh, this one's not up very much right now on the day. We need some good volume to push this thing up through seven. I'm looking to push this thing up through seven, maybe up to 720, uh, and then take a short position. So ride it up long, then ride it down short on HLIT. See if we can have a little bit of a pullback. But it looks like right here they entered into a $175 million licensing deal with Harmonix. So let's see if we can push on up through $7. Looks like we're doing that right now. All right, I'm starting at $7.15, 100 shares on the short side. Sitting a little stagnant, I do like that. But I only have a starter position. I'd like a bigger position here. I'd like to see this one up towards $7.50. Adding another 100 shares there at $7.26. 200 shares now at $7.20. Looking to add another 200 shares up towards 750. I'm going to take off half my shares there, just 100 shares on that dip, just to be smart. Recycle through those, get a better average. If this thing wants to pop on up towards 750. I'm just going to take all of it right here on this dip. I think that'd be smart. And try to get it again when it pops here. I'm going to start that again at 730. Average up a little bit. So that's what I did, you know, as it came down to 720, which was my initial average. I just took it all right there because it was on a pretty good pullback. So I recycle through those shares, just break even on those and get it again as it, you know, climbs back up towards high a day. Okay, I added 100 shares there. Don't really want this thing over 750. All right, I'm just taking it all in that flush right there. I think I'm going to be done with HLIT. Overstaying my welcome there. MDR popping on up. 1055 is going to be tough resistance here. I'm going to start that at 1052 overextension to resistance just the easy 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 plays that's what I look for this is what they call a triple top here right there at 1055 1060 uh, this is going to be a triple top you know if it breaks over this it's going to have room to move up to 1250 so we need to see how it's going to react here if it's just going to be an upper shadow you know right here breaking above this 1060 or if it's actually going to sustain the move so right now you know we're getting over that 1060 we'll see if we can hold it See if we're going to start pulling on back. This is very overextended on the day. Think about adding some shares here. 
Okay, I went ahead and added a couple hundred more. Average now at ten fifty-seven and a half. Fifty dollars is kind of my max risk per trade, so I'm going to scale out half if I get up to that fifty bucks. I'm going to scale out half if I get up to that fifty bucks. I'm still convicted here, though. I mean, this is a triple top overextension to that resistance. Uh, pocket pair of aces, you know, they usually work. Sometimes they don't. We'll scale out if I need to and try to work it a little bit further. Uh, but still in this, still comfortable here. See what she's going to do. It's just been grinding up, 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 up. And the faster they go up, guess what? It's the faster they come on down. I like them elevators down. I'm just going to take half off right there at 1055 to be smart. Lock in just a little bit. Just to recycle through some shares too. If they come down on a dip, you know, you can take half off. That way, you know, if it gets bought up on that dip and it gets a little higher, I can get my average up even further. My average right now is at 1057. So if it wants to climb up even higher, you know, I have a better average at that point. But now, selling on off. I'm just going to lock it all in right there on MDR. Made my 50 bucks today, so I'm happy. VISL on the big random short squeeze. Oh, guys, just easier plays out there, guys. Focus on the easier stuff. Get these scanners and focus on the easier stuff. All right, traders, that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys learned something. If you haven't yet, smack that like button, smack that subscribe button, traders. We will see you all first thing Friday. I won't be here tomorrow, guys. I'll see you all Friday.